talking about. Ain't never been like that. Ever. The fuck is you on, boy? You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Shout out to every single one of y'all. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP. If you like what's going on, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay in tune with all the latest content. But let's get right to it. I'm going to talk. I got about, this joint's about a half an hour long, but I'll throw it. You know what I'm saying? At the end, I want to just like break down every round that I've sketched about this Hitman and Verb situation. It's kind of wild, man. Um, Verb responded to Hitman spaces yesterday. He went into space and the thing about Verb, like some of his spaces, like he's like talking in circles. So I don't know, he's not getting directly at what Hitman's saying. And, and one more let thing, me know, let me oh, tell this no, no, Let thing, me tell this little thing, nigga something, last, man. Last, last thing, Moto. When you get in the ring, you're not entertaining. We don't want to keep hearing about the sweet science. We're looking for entertainment. <laughs> We're paying bucks for entertainment, nigga. Mm -hmm. And you're not entertaining. And somebody got to tell you this. I know and like I said, I got no issues with none of these niggas. So when I see one, I say what up. I see the other, I say what up. I'm just reporting the news. The ghetto news with his point of view. First of all, it's Monday. Shout out to every one of y'all. I wanted to kind of get this out during lunch. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of my niggas be at work. I be trying to get it out for lunch. You know what I'm saying? I know how it be. I've been on that grind before. Shout out to every single one of y'all. So, um, you know, Hitman's getting right to it, though. He's like pulled up to Verb Space. <laughs> Tried to get a speaker spot. Verb is like, you talked yesterday, I'm talking today. Like, Verb controls his environment. He's not letting Hitman up. Hitman starts his own space while Verb starts his space. Then everybody goes to Hitman's space. Verb still has some people in there. I think Hitman had over a thousand and Verb was at like 600. And Hitman's just getting straight to it, letting him know. Uh, I took some notes, you know what I'm saying? I gotta take notes because these niggas, this shit is wild, right? So Hitman's basically saying that uh, Verb is accusing Hitman's accusing Verb of saying, you ain't never done nothing for me to get paid. What is that in response to? That's in response to being on Max side. Um, Hitman is alleging that Verb didn't want him to get paid more than him. Verb is, Hitman's gonna get paid more than you, man. I'm just saying. So, he's saying they didn't want him to get paid more than him. He also, Hitman also alluded to the fact that uh, Verb allegedly said that he don't fuck with Nick Cannon no more, which is hard to believe because in the space, when Murder Mook tried to be the do the wild and out shit, the nigga, uh, Hitman called Nick Cannon. Oh, hell no! <laughs> On the spot, he called him. He tried to press the question, and Mook wouldn't answer. Y'all don't remember that shit? See, thing is, we gotta rewind, find it's more to find. We all, the good thing about the media and the blogs, and shout out to all the bloggers. It is some money out there. You better get to this money this week. It is, listen, man, it's enough bread to bake biscuits for the projects out here. You niggas better get to it. Uh, so, it sounds like Verb is spinning a lot of what Hitman is saying. So Hitman basically jumps in his space. He's saying that he could have took Verb off Max out because if he had said he wasn't going to be on the car, ARP wouldn't have done the battle. But he, Hitman is a, a saying he never stopped Verb from getting the bag. Verb is in his space saying that they could box <laughs> or they could uh, battle or, you know what I'm saying? Everything that Verb is saying is in correlation to uh, making some bread. You know what I'm saying? Like, we could put the, why we got to do it? We, why you want to spin out? Hitman said in his space, that I don't need no cameras, you drop a low, I'm pulling up today. He said, if you drop a location, I'm going to pull up today. Now, oh, we, oh. now, Verb is in his space, just basically alluding to the fact that Hitman is not about that life and he grew up in a good environment. First of all, when you, I know some niggas from two parent homes that'll leave your thoughts on your shorts, <laughs> like for real. Two parent homes, good parents, good moms, good dads, all of that. Got that thing on me, I got that stick, I got that tool, I'm yeah. packing. But when they get out there, it is what it is. Like, you gotta, your life is your life. Where you grew up at really is, it is part of your life, but there are people who are from some very good upbringings that got crazy. That's all I'm saying. So, um, so let's keep it moving. Uh, so he says, uh, he says, so Hitman then says that Verb never took a stance against URL. You know what I'm saying? And then he was basically alluding to the fact that when he was on Max Out, Hit Verb's issue. Verb, this all stems, a lot of this stems from Max Out, and there's a lot of other shit involved. But Verb's big issue was during Max Out, he didn't, Hitman didn't stand behind none of St. Louis. See, I was there to make it fit. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP and everybody who posted with me. What happened was at Max Out, I seen it. I watched. When you get to Max Out, it's like a hundred St. Louis niggas in the parking lot. What kind of shit is here? I thought these niggas was all one united front, but the front was a front, so let's get to what was in front. So Verb and his people, when they battle, they had their people behind them, 
you know, Ice Pack had his people, B-Magic had his people. None of Hitman Holla or none of his folks was in the building. Them niggas stayed in the parking lot. Listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. This nigga ain't got no sense. The Hitman was in the whip. They never stood behind none of them. When it was time for Hitman to battle, them niggas came in the building like fucking Malcolm X and the fucking nation, nigga. Them Niggas was they marched in. Them niggas that Hitman bring, them niggas don't be there for no battle. They ain't there to dap nobody. They ain't there to take no pictures. They ain't there to do shit, but make sure they people rap and leave. Every single event I've been to, that's exactly how they move. Them niggas is not, they ain't no fans. They ain't there to watch no battle. Them niggas is not there. So when Verb does that whole Hitman ain't really with that, and he told him, this is where Hitman really turned up. When Verb told him to put it on Pyru, you know what I'm saying? Put it on Pyru this, put it on Pyru that. And he was talking a situation with Hitman. The situation was a little manager guy with stole some money or whatever the case may be. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and it got to where it got. But, um, you know, Verb's, Hitman's thing was this. He said that Verb be in the spaces and then he just started like, you know, making up stories on him. So Hitman is like, I just want the world to know yeah, I don't fuck with Hitman, and I ain't never gonna fuck with Hitman. He's not my man. He's been hating on me for so long. And then Verb has said something about Hitman's attitude is the reason why a lot of situations didn't go the way it's supposed to go. Hitman responds, and basically he's like, nigga, how did my attitude mess up anything when I'm still on Wildin' Out? I can still battle on you all. He just starts naming down all his accomplishments. Yes, sir! This nigga's spitting. Damn, nigga! See, Verb shit is like, like, you know what I'm saying, it's spinny. Hitman shit is direct, nigga. I pull up on you today. I do this today. I book a flight today. That's exactly how his energy was. His energy was not nothing different. So let me see uh, what else is in the notes. Uh, and these are some of the words that Hitman said. He said, drop a low. I don't need no cameras, no lights. He said, tread, tread lightly with the push a button talk. He said, when he lies on me, I'm going to call his bluff. He said, you get up here and lie. I'm going to make an example out of you. Don't do this for clicks and likes. You know what I'm saying? And Verb was just basically saying that, um, you know, that that Verb made that space about controlling Gerald's money. He did. He made the space and he said that anybody want to get bread out here, you niggas want to get some bread out here, can't get no bread unless you get fed out here. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know where this will go because I don't want to see Hitman and Verb battle again, to be honest with you. I do not want to see part two, part one was good enough. I did have Verb winning the battle. A hey, big Gerald, that's the way you talk to your son, legendary moment. Hitman went on to build his career and build his platform and do his thing. Verb has done his thing, but quite obviously, they do get together every couple years, and you see them standing behind each other in a battle, but at max out. I specifically saw Verb standing behind B-Magic for his battle, behind Ice Pack for his battle, and they doing the same, but Hitman's people strategically came in there, battled, bounced. And I noticed that because I judged the battle. I was up there in the, on the drum when it was over. We called it out, and it was only Hitman and his people there, and Ill Will and his people there. You know what I'm saying? So this relationship looks like one that has set sail a while ago. But I, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to see it get to no violence, somebody pulling up on each other and all that shit. Like I ain't really with all that either. But it obviously does not look like these guys will be rocking with each other anytime soon. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? If you got a chance, you know what I'm saying? You can peep the space. People for yourself. I'm out of here. Gang, 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 and don't bang. You ain't know what the fuck going on. Shout out to everybody out there. Now tell a nigga come to my space. I let him up. I, I let him up. The nigga, like, he's not built man to man conversation like that. He the feminine one. He don't want to talk to a man, man to man. You talked yesterday. Let me talk. The fuck is you talking about, bro? This shit stems from you being jealous. All this other shit you beating around the bush, talking about this, and I, man, you stem from this stem from you being jealous. You hating on me and trying to stop a bag with ARP. You doing this shit with Gerald. All this shit come from you. I don't got nothing else to say about nothing else, bro. Niggas, oh, oh my God. Like, oh, I, I went to that nigga Spaces. Not a no fake page. Not That was me. You see me in this motherfucker. Let me up. Let's talk. I told y'all everything I can say, I can say directly to the nigga I'm talking about because I got nothing to hide. Nothing to hide. I ain't getting no fake page or had somebody go to his page. Tell me what, and I pull right up. Now tell the nigga pull up to mine.
fuck out of here. What the fuck is y'all talking about, bro? Y'all know one, one thing about me, and then I stood, tell me he squashed beef for me. You ain't squash no motherfucking beef for me, nigga. A nigga called you because I shot at them. Fuck is you talking about? Nigga called you and was like, man, then, you know what, man, this shit, go get, get, out, get him on the phone, man, boom, boom, boom. You ain't squash nothing for me like Verb called them niggas and you know better. What are you talking about? You know damn well the niggas I be with and what we be doing, bro, and what we was doing growing up. And you keep saying my attitude is the reason that's held me back. What are you talking about? I be, I've been successful for damn near 15 years, bro. My attitude ain't got me kicked off MTV. My attitude ain't got me kicked off BET. I ain't missed out on no opportunities for my attitude. What are you talking about? You the one that's on a motherfucking online trying to motherfucking sabotage a whole motherfucking battle league every single day for a whole year. Hitman don't do that. I had a problem with URL. I was just on the phone with them. I had a problem with them 10 years ago. They trying to book me. <laughs> that ain't messed up that. I'm on RBE because I ain't burnt no bridge. Any league call me, I can go to. Which one of us got the attitude? Can you go? Can you go? Um, can you battle on URL? Why can't you battle on URL? I mean, why can't you battle on URL? But I can. If if my attitude is the one that stops everything, y'all be letting these niggas feed feed this narrative that y'all just all oh, hit man hot head and all that shit. And I've been in a, a, a successful one of the most the biggest motherfucking networks for going on ten years. What are y'all talking about? Ain't no attitude. I just I address bullshit when it come, bro. You told the league owner, oh, you can't pay him, man, more than me. That nigga ain't never put me in a position to win. Shit, I don't know. Nah, we ain't doing that. I ain't say that. Come on now. Make it make sense. I told y'all. I'm going to talk to the niggas directly. Anytime I got a problem, I can get niggas on the line, on the spaces or whatever, and I can say these things to them. It's easy to talk when the other nigga ain't talking. It's easy to say whatever you want to say. Nah, I pull right up. That nigga had a chance to be a man and put me right in. He don't. He, he, he want to feed a narrative. Give a fuck about no recording you got on me, nigga. You know I ain't fuck with you for real. So if I if you do got a recording, it ain't nothing but me probably telling the nigga, yeah, I don't fuck with him. He did that shit boom, boom, boom. I fuck with him from a distance. I know, like, you know what's up, bro. This shit happened after 2018. You did this shit to ARP. Tell me I got new niggas around me. Nigga, like, you fucking stupid. I bet a nigga five thousand dollars right now that they could point, they could go punt out, they could go to any of my older battles, and I can go to a newer battle and them same niggas behind. Tell me I got out of town niggas behind. What are you talking about, nigga? How the fuck I got out of town niggas behind me? And my last battle, my last big stage battle, I had a hundred niggas from St. Louis to pull up and cart new hats. How the fuck is out of town niggas only around me? All y'all gotta do is let a nigga talk. Let a nigga talk, he gonna talk you niggas to death in circles, bro. Fuck is niggas talking about, bro? Niggas know. Niggas know exactly what's going on, bro. All that shit you be trying to manipulate, but the mother nigga, you can't do that to me, bro. All that you know me and all that, and all, what are you saying? Tired of nigga giving you looks and you want to get in them up. You want to go, yeah, uh, yeah, you, you we, like we. Hey, you never ever try to cause harm and we. any moment, bro. You wanted me to put it on Pyro. On Pyro, you drop a location in St. Louis or Atlanta. I'm pulling up and you know that. Been hating on me for 10 years, bro. Been hating on me ever since I've been me. Try to make it seem like you just got love for me and you try to stop multiple bags. This ain't that, bro. I'm trying to make it, man. You know I can push the green light and I can do this and you can do what? Do it, Verb. I'm telling you, do it. Don't save me. Do it. Wait on. What are you waiting on? Push a button. Ho ass nigga, push a button. I dare you. I'm trying to make it seem like this something else in you. Motherfucking man, they don't get your clown ass out of here, bro. Playing with me, bro, on this on this motherfucking internet. Man, this nigga crazy. For real. For real. What's up, Holla?
I thought he would have pulled you up. He's seen your name right there. Man, that's what I'm saying. All I'm saying is pull up and tell me them lies you're gonna tell you try to tell the people. Tell them directly to me. He know he know I'm a counter that. He know he can't talk to me like that. He he know he can't. I just did I did that for a reason. I pulled right up. Right next to his name. Hit man holler. No, you talk y'all talk yesterday. It's my time. The fuck is you talking about? Niggas try to make it seem like I've been trying to front this person I am. He just told you I've, I've been the same me since 15, 16. He's been telling me. what, what So make it make sense, though. If you've been, quote, unquote, stopping beats or whatever you're trying to say all the way back then, obviously that means I've been the same me. That's what that sound like. Third, no, man, he's trying to make it seem like he was just, he kept me out of trouble. He was just big, bro. He did so much shit for me in the street. Like, come on, bro. What are you talking about, bro? Like, come on, bro. I just don't lie. Don't spin it. You got caught hating on me numerous of times behind the scenes. You jealous of me. You been jealous of me. That's why you battled me. That's why you did all this shit. I finally called you out on it. Now you want to make it some old other shit. Oh, we trying to my life. And we, you know damn well, we in St. Louis niggas to stand up. You don't got no motherfucking army, bro. You ain't got no niggas just riding with you. You're not even that kind of nigga, bro. You cool nigga that rap and you know I said I had some hoes and shit going. That was that was all you stood for. Cool nigga that rap, had some hoes. You a fight. Not saying the nigga just push you and you won't swing. Or I'm not saying that. You a fight. But you know you're not willing to take it where I'm taking it. You know how I came up, bro. You keep trying to say, hey, I'm not from no problem. Nigga, what, what the fuck is you talking about? Where I'm from, a -bird? Where I'm from, a -bird? What are you talking about, bro? It ain't a nigga. Okay, put it like this. I can't tell him to pull up a St. Louis nigga from anywhere. Since he got the green button, everybody know me. Tell him to pull up a St. Louis nigga from any part of St. Louis and ask them, how is Hitman Holler? I bet soft won't come up. I bet a bitch-ass nigga won't come up. I bet I never ran won't come up. I bet I stood on situations time after time after time come up. I ain't a nigga from St. Louis that's going to that's gonna, that's gonna disagree with that, man. I been me. What are you so you always try to get on these games and play manipulate and try to act like you? Yeah, I know him. See, y'all new niggas, y'all don't know him. We look at him different. How you look at me, bro? You know I punch you directly in your motherfucking shit on sight. You know that. You know that. So how niggas look at me, bird? Now I was gonna tell you this soon as you let me up. Soon as you would have let me spoke, I would have told you this directly to you, and you know that. I dare you come to mind. Let your face pop up in mind. Watch how fast you pull up on her. Talk that shit to me. Don't try to tell me I'm a star and I've been this, and I don't need you to tell me that. The world don't need you to tell you. The world know me. I don't need, I don't need no motherfucking good graces from you now. Yeah, I did. I did pick him saying that, like, oh, you, you, you this, you that, but I ain't gonna bow down to you. I ain't gonna I ain't just bend it to you out here. I came to him with this, though. Them, them the manipulative games he played. Try to make bow down and act like he ain't got to kiss my ass. Like, what are you talking about, bro? I ain't even said nothing to you. I ain't did. I ain't did nothing to you, bro. I just got a text from Jerry. Say, you know what, man? I, I hate this happen. This is this and that. You know what I'm saying? But I can't get mad at you for feeling how you feel. You're right. I can't say you wrong for how you feel. You're right. I ain't. I ain't start this with her, bro. This is whole thing. This is what he did last time. He tried to deflect this shit and try to make it seem like it's. Me trying to act like he ain't him, and I'm trying to, I've been feeling some way. Like, he pulling up shit from 14 years ago with me and Aquas. So I was like, what are you talking about, bro? Ain't no nigga just ever just came to me and just said something about. That's what he said at first. My uh, hitman ain't trying to New York. He trying to build with the niggas. I'm trying to tear that shit down. He ride, get out the car. It was always that. Like, come on, bro. If if y'all know Hitman Holler, go to my street status battles. Go ask O. O a neutral, you know what I'm saying? O mutual, right? He's gonna play neutral and shit in this. Go ask O how I was pulling up to them street status battles, nigga. When I was 19, 18. Go ask them niggas why they banned me from African Palace. Why they banned me and my guys from African Palace. Go ask Verb that. I'm talking way before the fame. I'm talking way, I'm talking about high school. I'm talking about limelight days. I'm talking the palace days, bro. 
Like, niggas be always trying to make it seem like I'm just somebody I'm not. I don't go around trying to bully niggas. I don't go around act like I'm just this macho man. I told y'all from jump, I'm not going to bother nobody. I'm not going to put my hands on nobody. But a nigga going to respect me. And a nigga don't respect me, he going to answer to that. Every time. That's all I said. You respect me, I respect you. Go to my battles. I don't be niggas. I don't be bullying niggas to try to. I don't. I don't even. Get, I don't even argue with niggas first, bro. But sometimes this narrative always want to be like, oh, hitman want to be too tough. How? Name me a tough situation. Y'all always looking at me from the defensive end, which should show y'all a lot. That means I act like this with everybody. Me and Surf got into it. I act like this with Surf. Me and Shug got into it. I act like this with Shug. Me and Math got into it. I act like this with Math. All the niggas. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no. I don't pick and choose. Any nigga that got a problem with me, I be the same me since day one. But then every time nigga get a tool with me and want to act like it seems like I'm doing something out of the ordinary. What are you talking about? Me and Bill Collector got a tool in 2011, before I knew 2012, before I knew who the fuck niggas was. I ain't show no favoritism. Oh, I'm going a, I'm to a let you slide. I'm just going to act like this with somebody. No, you disrespect Hitman. This is the energy I give every time. And the nigga can't ever tell me this is not the energy I done gave, bro. I didn't get online. I was for Arsenal before niggas even really knew me, right? Got a tool with Arsenal. Fighting words with Arsenal in 2010. Went to New York with one person. Stood on mine. I ain't say, I ain't hit Arsenal. Arsenal, man, I'm coming by myself, bro. Because you make sure we good. Nah, them niggas could have jumped. Them could have did whatever they was going to do there. I still showed up to battle and talk and talk like I had a million niggas with me. These are facts. Me and Arsenal was really trying to hurt each other. At one, at one point in time, if I saw Arsenal, it was up. Arsenal saw me, it was up. And y'all know Arsenal a gang member. 20, 25, 30 great street niggas with him. He ain't back down? Cool, I like that, because I ain't backing down neither. I flew to a whole nother coast, nigga, with one person. Sue whooped on stage. Before the fame. Before all that. What are y'all talking about? It was never no rumors that no nigga choking me. On, and, no, and, no, and no show. It wasn't no hitman got choked out in no event. Them rumors don't happen to me. I see it in person. You have, but you don't come until it's time for you to battle. And then you you battle, get out of stage, and you you damn near gone. I leave, bro. So, I, don't be, I don't be on these events, nigga, trying to act like I'm this and that. I don't get on these Twitter spaces and tell battle rappers I'm the only one doing this and that. You can't pull up a space. They only go off my defensive mode, my defense mode. But my defense mode is me because the nigga already crossed me. <laughs> That's it. They niggas favorite go-to is, oh, man, Hitman, really that? We really know him. Well, goddamn, y'all really know me. <laughs> then y'all should know. Like, come on, bro. Never had no problem with Verb, bro. Like I told y'all, never had no problem with Verb. Verb battled me. Verb wanted to battle me. X-Factor said it his third round, bro. Verb wanted to battle me. Spotlight off him. He want, him, he want the momentum. He want to be that. Verb wanted to battle me. Verb the one had a total, total league on that. Like he said, I, I trust too many niggas, and who the I'm like, bro? Man, listen, don't fall for it. Like when I when, listen, when they say these things, I ask y'all, I told y'all, tell them, excuse me, tell them, prove it, tell them, prove it. Oh, hitman got too many. I, 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 everybody with him, he think I just try to tell y'all, everybody with me from out of town. Like like St. Louis don't ride with me, and I got all that town. And, no, it's just when you go around the way, you start meeting real niggas from all over. I got niggas from Chicago. I got niggas from L.A. I got Crips from L.A. All my niggas in Bompton. I got niggas in New York. I got niggas in Florida. I got that's just how, that's what happened when you go around and meet new niggas and you you beat real niggas. Real niggas connect with real niggas. Don't get mad at me because you don't have you can't go nowhere and move like that. So you try to deflect it and make it seem like you know what I'm saying a positive or negative. Oh, you got out of town niggas behind you, so they don't know. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think a million out of town niggas just start rocking St. Louis gear and St. Louis Cardinal hats, right? You don't just think a million out of town niggas gonna do that to fit in with Hitman Holler, do it? Do that? I don't look right, right? Go to that, go, go to that 15 minute of fame blog and tell me how many niggas y'all count in St. Louis jersey and St. Louis hats, St. Louis hats. 15 plus years, them 20 plus year old friends, nigga. I can count 50 to 60, 15 year plus friends. That I still rock with today, till till today. Now tell me, man, bro.
I just, I just hate the lies. Bro. I said I don't even want to do this, but I knew he going to get up there and lie. And just tell him, and then after he get done talking in circles, ask him, did I lie? When he done talking in circles, ask him, did I lie about the ARP situation and did I lie about the drill situation? When he done talking in circles. I got, I got a question real quick. What if he, what if he try to spin the situation with the uh, ARP and the whole, uh, you know, like whenever you battle Bill, like him want more money than you. That, see that, that, see that. So the reason why he can't spin it, and I hope people caught this. He trying to make it seem like it's all oh, you, 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 you booking Hitman. You got more money. I need, I need Hitman. That wasn't what it is. If you know ARP, you know ARP booked his main event first. Once y'all lock in. He done, then he tell the, the main event his his um his ideas for the card. So it's like, hit man, I got you an ill will, boom. All right. So this the buzzy. I'm trying to get such and such, such and such. I'm like, all right, that's a good co main event. We can we know that's how we talk. So what happened was the nigga booked Hitman and uh, I mean A Verb and I guess it was Mook. And then as uh AR, ARP was like, you know, oh a St. Louis car versus East Coast, that'll be fire. I'm I'm gonna get high. I wanna get your brother holler. Oh no, no, no. You can't get hit, man, cause you can't pay him more than me. That nigga ain't done enough for me. He ain't put me in no position to win, so it's my turn. Hell no, we ain't doing that. How the fuck that sound like got anything to do with money? These are these ARP tweeted what he said. And he and he quote tweeted. He didn't say I didn't say that. He said you cannot pay Hitman more than me. Hitman ain't done nothing for me. He ain't put me in position, so I'm not doing the same for him, or I'm not fucking with him, or something like that. Put you in position and do what? Nigga, what? Wilding out? Wilding out? Not my motherfucking platform? Like, what are you talking about? So when people try, so when he try to say shit like that, he's just trying to spin it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, like, if if, it, uh, if all he said was cool, why would ARP even tweet that loud? Like, damn, you talking about I'm trying to break up St. Louis, then why you ain't tell your brother Hitman you said this? Type of nigga verb is. I took it on the chin. Like, man, I ain't tripping verb. Whatever, bro. Smiling all behind him in the Lux battle and all the rest of the life. Like, I'm just cool. Herb. Like, I'm not, I got no hatred towards you. I have nothing to hate on you about. You said those things to a league owner. Cool. You got to deal with yourself, whatever. Like, if you feel like you ain't where you at for yourself, that's on you. And I let it slide. I got one more question. It just hit, it just hit me about the whole St. Louis, uh, like, the look. Okay, so when you battle in the wheel, like, did you have any kind of pull on getting, like, Verb and Young Eel and all them on the court to make it a pool St. Louis? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, like I told ARP, that was a good idea. Like, I'm like... Man, we do the St. Louis joint. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because if I, like, ARP booked it with me. So I could have easily been like, man, nah, you know what? You say that for another time. I don't want Verb get this look. Man, that nigga, I ain't fucking with him, bro. I'm cool. I could have easily said that. Who ARP make more money with? What you, you think ARP said? I bet my main event don't want that. I'm going to move on then. We can, you know what I'm saying? We can still get... Um, goods versus <clears throat> we still get goods versus Calico. We can still get awesome. You know what I'm saying? We can still do other shit. Not all oh, yeah. Let's get that. Let's make that happen. Never want you gotta stand. I've been knew these thoughts about how dude felt and the stuff he say behind closed doors, and I never once stopped him from anything. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? He keep trying to make it seem like he put up the awkward shit, making it look like I never. Bro, I was in tour with URL bad, and you were still battling with them. You ain't take no stance with me. I ain't feel no kind of weight. I want fuck with URL, right? When you over there getting checks and getting paid and fucking with URL, did I say anything? Nah, get your money. I never try to stop. I don't like that. Ain't what are you talking about, bro? That's the type of shit I'm talking about. He talking about I'm standing with a nigga from man. Cola is a blogger that come over and talk. That's how he feel. That's how he felt. I'm not holding. I'm not holding on. I've been doing that too young long. I asked a blogger, did they want to say anything? I pulled up a blogger. He said what he said. But I post say, oh no, don't talk about verb like that. And nah, that shit been done. You've been fucked up to St. Louis Unity. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about that. That's how he felt. I said what I said. I ain't focused on what another nigga said. Focus on what I said. You know what I'm saying? Like, and like, I hate, I had to really come through all this because, like I said, I don't gain nothing from this. Like, ain't no battle coming from this. <clears throat> and ain't no none of this shit. Like, 
Man, nigga talking about boxing, man. You know damn well, man, all that shit don't, man, that shit no bro. Man, it's, it's always, but that's what I'm trying to say, though. Every time he bring up me, he want to get money from it. You know what I'm saying? He want to battle me. He want to check. He want the buzz. He want to do the boxing, and he want to try to, everything he always come out, he's always like, he wants something from it. He wants something out of it. I'm planning on just telling y'all, man, I don't fuck with her no more. This is what happened, boom, boom. I just want to let y'all know so y'all want to ask me in interviews, and I'm going by my business. Now he want to, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's do that. It's Suge and got this. We can do this. And, like, it's always an opportunity from him. I don't need no money to box you. I don't need no cameras, no lights. Drop a low. You know damn well I'm pulling up. I don't need that. I don't got to gain no momentum off this situation. You do. You do this every time. I'm scorching hot. Oh, I want to battle it. I want to battle hit man. Now it is. Oh, everybody it is. I know how. Let's, we can go. We can do this and do that. that, that that's how y'all tell the real from the fake. If I really wanted that, I could have easily been like, oh, Varia, yeah, let's go to the Suge boxing event. Let's get, that's me helping them out again. Without me, like, there's no traction, no nothing. You don't do nothing, bro. Like, you don't do nothing over me, bro. Nothing. Like, this, you know what I'm saying? So I just ask y'all, when y'all let niggas talk about me, just tell them, prove it. Because every time any fan in here that want to ask me something and be like, holla, you said this. Can you prove this? I bet you I can prove it. I bet you I can. I'm always, bro, I'm not going to come up here and lie on nobody. I'm going to prove what I'm saying. This is what happened. This the names, these the names that are involved. I gave y'all four reliable names or three reliable names that y'all can ask at any time. Did Hitman holler lie? The difference is when niggas up, come up here and act like they don't lie, we catch, catch them in a million lies. <laughs> a million lies. Me and Beasley ain't the best of friends no more. But what I do, name drop Beasley. So all you bloggers now can run up on Beasley. Hey, Hitman said this. Is, he, is, is this accurate? <laughs> McCoy, cool with both of us. I went, why would I, I can't just lie on a nigga who cool with the other nigga, right? <laughs> that means he can just easily be like, yo, holler, you know, I'm uh, I'm cool with him too, so I just can't let you lie. He can easily just say that and shut everything I said down, right? Right. Everything I'm saying, I'm staying ten toes behind, bro. And I'm willing to tell the nigga I'm talking about this to his face. That's why I pulled up in his face. No, no, no. I seen he talked yesterday. No, no, he talked yesterday, so we're going to talk today. Like, what the fuck you mean we talk? Like, he tried to make it seem like he asked to come on my space yesterday, and I told him no. That's the only way that makes sense. Like, nah, I tried to I tried to get on his space yesterday. He ain't pulled me up, so I ain't going to pull him on mine. Something like that makes sense. Uh, no, he talked yesterday. It's my turn. What you mean my turn? You asking me questions on your live, and I'm right there. Let me answer them. fuck is you talking about? <laughs> if I say the boss, if I get on this motherfucker and say the boss, I dare you tell motherfuckers I ain't fuck you yesterday and you begging me to let you on my motherfucking space and I'll be like, no, nah, no, nah, you you had a space yesterday. Like, dude, like what? You gonna let me answer the questions or no? Come on, y'all. I've been real from the jump, bro. I've been real from the jump, bro. Even when I told Sir, one time Sir was talking bad about Verb on the space, like, I'll be like, all right, man, chill, that's St. Louis, bro. Well, ain't fucking with verb like that. Like, man, that's chill. I can't let you talk that crap. That's chill, sir. I feel you. Like, do that shit. Like, talk about him when I'm up, when I'm gone, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I know this shit, like, hey, Marv. I'm glad you're right here, Marv, because I got a question. Because he asked you a question. No, no, no. Like, I'm not putting you in no messy shit. I just want to ask you the same question and just see if you got a different. The buck, can you add Marv for me? Yeah, but send me the co-host. And I got you. What uh You be forgetting how to work. <laughs> what's that? How how add the what that? Uh co-host. Oh uh, boom. It's a request, co-host. Oh, uh, uh, that's what man, I'm sorry. You okay? Uh, I just gotta I just gotta push on your name. I'm tripping. Yeah, I'm mind all over the place. There you go. Uh, I'm about to I'm acting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I want to add more or something because he asked more of a question and he kind of, well, I didn't really know what was going on. Oh, there you go. I could do that too. Yep. What's up, Ma? 
Nigga, I was just about to leave. I know you was good, cost you good, good, good. Stay right there. <laughs> so look, like I said, I ain't not going to make you ask no answer no message. I just off the question he asked you because mm-hmm. he asked you somebody left it out. So um, just say um, you and Quest supposedly. Like Quest, I know y'all close. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or any nigga from your city. I just said we ain't got used to it. Any nigga from your city, like any nigga that you rock with, you support JC Calico mm-hmm. whoever. Mm-hmm. Now I'm a league owner. I'm a, I'm a league owner. And I say, yo, mom, I want you to battle the boss. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I got this, this, this. You say, cool, boom. I bet. Now I want Calico versus, you know what I'm saying, somebody else. Mm-hmm. Now, if I already locked your number in and we good, if I tell you I want Calico, you're not, it, even if you say where the money coming from, because I never told you we ain't have no money in the first place. I wanted, you just told me your price. I booked you. Like, I ain't say, yo, Ma, I only got $3, man. Can I book you? Now, I just booked you for your regular price, whatever. Y'all, we negotiated. You got your price. Would you tell me, oh, no, nah, you booking Calico? No, nah, he can't get paid more than me because he ain't done nothing. He can't get paid more. He ain't done nothing, to me, nothing for me. And he can't get paid more than me. I'm Would not, you tell I'm, him to a legal? I'm not going to front. The person it is make that makes that question different. It makes it different. If it's somebody I fuck with, I I, I want you to eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, yeah, it's, I'm, it's me though. So it's, yeah, it's me and yeah. Verb. So it got to be you and somebody. Just yeah, somebody yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm saying uh-huh. if, it, if it's somebody I genuinely fuck with, I'm uh, never, yeah. I'm never gonna take no money out. I'm never gonna take no money out of nigga I fuck with pockets ever. I'm never gonna do that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's all I was saying from the jump as far as like, bro. All, all you told you told a, a league owner that wanted to book me. Like ARP just said, man, I don't want to get high on the car, and you told him. Uh, nah, you, nah, if you get hollered, he can't get paid more than me because he ain't done shit for me. That's what I mean. Why? That's 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 different. That's that's very that's that's super personal. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Uh-huh. What un, we understand that you niggas are at a a, a, a crossroads. What is it? Uh-huh. What is it gonna take for you niggas not to be at a crossroads? So the thing was, like I told Gerald at ARP behind the scenes, I told Gerald, listen, he did this before. I just got to part ways with Verb. We ain't got to do no, we ain't got to do no grammar. I ain't got to, we ain't got to do all that. I just want you to tell him that I know what he said to you so he understand why I unfollow him and why I, why you know what I'm saying, why I'm not fucking with him. That's all I wanted. I just wanted Gerald to let him know that. So once they did and everything behind the scenes was kind of seen like I don't fuck with him like that, I left it alone. He decided to get on the internet, do the spaces and do the subliminals and Make all these tweaks in the public. You see what I'm saying? Like, I could have easily just got on my Twitter, like, man, I don't fuck with Verb, just let y'all know. So if y'all see me, don't ask no questions about it. He decided to make all this, do this rant. You know what I'm saying? So with me, all I told him was, yo, just let him know I know what's up so I don't fuck with him. We go our separate ways. He said, make nine tweets and got niggas wondering and, you know what I'm saying, what's going on? And then I got a recording of you and, I got this. Like he wanted to do this on the internet, and I was confused on why when he the one in the room. I'm like, why you want that? Have you have you have you niggas have have you niggas tried to reach out to each other behind the scenes? Yeah, yes. I try, I told Gerald. So two two people. I told Gerald, yo, let's go. Let's all get on three way, man. Call him. Gerald didn't want me to do that for whatever reason. He felt like, man, man I'm a, I already told him. Y'all just I don't want it to go from here. Boom. So I honored it. Cool. My unk, my unk Jule was like, man. Told so, so Verb, man, I'm gonna get him on the phone. The three of man, y'all call him. Verb said, man, you know how Hitman is. When Hitman in his mode, he don't want to listen to nobody, so there ain't no point in calling. That's what he said. So, hey, I ain't finna beg a nigga to talk. So long, long as you know I don't fuck with you, cool. We don't have to talk. I said I wasn't focusing on talking, especially when I knew I wasn't finna go to the internet and do all this. So I was like, cool. You know what I'm saying, like. But shit, sometimes it just is like, I, and I kind of really glad he really did it. So now I could I just kind of let it all out. Like, bro, this what it is, y'all. This is what happened. Take what y'all want from it. Now y'all know, cause it's kind of hard to kind of be front this shit for the cameras all the time when you know a nigga steady just violating you behind the scenes. Like a nigga told a nigga of a potential sponsor that oh, he don't fuck with Nick Cannon and you see his manager scamming too and watch him he on spaces a lot why like this is like this like deep hatred you know what I'm saying like 
And then Gerald was confused because Gerald was like, damn, I thought you was his brother. Maybe I'm missing something. So, you know, it's just like, I just want to let, let a nigga know. Y'all know what you're saying, bro. That shit, like, go on about your business, bro. And then so, he get on. What's the, what's, um, what's, the, what's, the, what's the end result? Are you, are you niggas going to be able to coexist in the same space? Like, is it, like, is it a thing where when y'all see each other, like, it's going to be, it's going to be an issue? Like, the thing was, bro. I, I I planned on just telling him I ain't fuck with him. So if I saw him, you know, it was it was just like I ain't gotta speak to him, we're gonna separate. But if he ain't gonna tell the stories right, if he keep trying to make me look like some kind of other nigga that oh, I really know him and I can I can press the button and I can do this and I can do that, he gonna make me. Like he gonna force my hand. Cause I'm not finna take too many more of those. All I told niggas was he 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 snaked me twice behind my back to league owners to sponsors. He did this and this. I don't fuck with him. Leave me alone. But the more he get in space and try to act like I'm somebody that I'm not, that's what's gonna make me not be able to see him and not go upside his shit. I'm gonna be honest. I don't I don't have a problem with Verb. I don't want to. I didn't want to just come and fight. I wasn't mad at Verb. I want to fight. But you gotta understand when I know the truth. And then I gotta sit up here and listen to a nigga get on these spaces in front of these people and try to try to act like my character is some fake. When everybody can just look at my background and just see, well, you saying he he one way, but he ain't showed us none but this way. I can't sit up here and let a nigga keep playing with me, especially to a nigga I know is nowhere near the caliber of nigga I am. That's gonna make me mad. Yeah, St. Louis know him. Like he try to make it seem like I'm just some goofy and like all the St. Louis like. All, every St. Louis artist finna get in his space and say, yeah, Hitman says, man, no, I'm, I'm waiting on that. So as long as he stop that, if he get on these spaces and just say whatever, Hitman, I ain't jealous of you, nigga, you been jealous of me, and this, if he keep it like that, he can say whatever, he can talk to, he blew in his face. The moment he start trying to make it seem like I'm not who I am, and he this, he this type nigga, and he can have, he can push a button, and all words he chooses to tread lightly. That's all I'm gonna say. As of right now, today, at this moment, I don't want to do nothing to him. Like I don't want to do nothing to him. Like ah, right, boom, boom, boom. But if I get in this space and if I, if I say I'm hearing niggas, he telling niggas, yeah, man, holla ain't like that. Or I know him and this and that, and we can do this. I can push a button and he can do it like that. I'm a, I'm a call his bluff, and he gonna have to prove that. So that's it. Right now, I know. Right now, I don't fuck with him. I got no problem with him. I don't want to fight him or none. But I'm not gonna be able to take too many more of the lies. I ain't getting here, and I'm not finna say, like I never said, Bird would not fight. I'm not just finna go up here and lie. Like yo, Bird won't even fight if you push me this and that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna say yeah, Bird will fight. You know what I'm saying? He got problems with you. See him, you come up on him, he'll fight. I'm gonna I'm keep it real. But they gotta down. They gotta. Down talk me to big themselves up, meaning yeah, I'm I'm this like we really know him. You ain't grew up in no problem. You ain't grew up in no problems. What you mean, girl? You know who my family is. You know what I've been. You know I've been like, I'm not saying it's cool. <laughs> Everybody make mistakes, but like I, I was in a gang at 15. We was running around. We was really gang banging. Really had enemies. Really had ops. Really going around getting put out of clubs and lying like like this. Really was my life. Like, don't matter how y'all try to spin it and try to make it seem like I grew up in some three-story house and all that. Like, my mom and daddy worked two jobs. I ain't get my, my daddy and mom ain't buy me no car, no 16, no 18. I got my first car when I saved up some money at 23 years old. Like, what life are you trying to portray I have for these people? You get up here and lie on me, I'm going to make an example. And he know, and he know I'm not playing. He keeps saying, like, hey, hitman know me. Okay, I know you, and I'm saying these things. You play with me, I'm going to make an example, bro. Don't get on these spaces and lie on my name. Don't get up here and lie, bro, for some clicks and likes. Don't get up here and try to make it seem like you got some St. Louis niggas that's rolling with you that's going to do something to me if you push the button and that dumb ass shit, bro. Don't do that. That's all I ask. Get up here, tell your little lie, say you said what you said for a reason, and leave it at that. Don't try this left because you know damn well you're not willing to take it where I'm willing to take it. And you don't even have it. Yeah. So, yeah, I ain't, ain't going to do nothing to him, bro. Like, as far as now, I ain't got no problem with him. He can say what he want to say. I just want him to keep it real, bro. That's all I ask. Keep it real. And don't try to convince these people I'm something I'm not. And I'm just up here talking. And I'm just up here making up shit. Don't do that. That's all I ask. And then we good. And um, I'm going to go to the gym right now. I just pulled up. So, appreciate y'all listening.
I'm gonna leave this gym. I heard some other shit. I'm a, I still got some shit in the tuck. Pause. I hope he just play it cool. Just play it cool, bro. You got caught being a sucker again. It's cool. That's you. Leave it at that, bro. Leave it at that. Go. You got battles coming up. Go do your thing, bro. I'm gonna mind my business. You mind yours. You tell your side. Let the people believe who they want to believe. Let them side with whoever they want to side. But don't turn this into something that you are fight in the middle of the game. Get your ball back then, nigga. Come get it. Come get this motherfucker then. Damn. I ain't never spit on you on camera. Every time we on camera and somebody talk about Hitman versus Verb, I say it's one of the greatest battles of all time. I never say nothing outside of that. I never play with the Cardinal Cap, bro. That Cardinal Cap means so fucking much, man. Because it's a prideful thing, bro. It's like... It's it's like like it's pride, bro. It's like we not supposed to be here, bro. So when we strap that cap on our heads, man, it means so fucking much to me. It means so much to Eric because we not supposed to be here, bro. We from St. Louis, bro. We became like names all over the world, like bro. That shit is like mind boggling to me, bro. That's why it means so fucking much, bro. It's like. The Cardinal Cap is first, holler. Like, you can't sit up here and have an issue with everybody, bro. You static with everybody. Anybody that has not, anybody that has made you feel a way, you hold it forever. Your feelings are not real, holler. They're not. Oh, that, he ain't, has he rapped for you since y'all fell out before? How did you ever ask him how he feel? Feel, come on, holla. You ain't even asked me what I said one time. That ain't no real nigga shit. You feel away. I don't. I know what you think about me, and I ain't press play. I ain't feel away. Why would I feel away about you, holla? I don't feel no way. You the one that feels away, but you project that it's me, so it won't look crazy. Just say it's you, holla. Just say it's you, bro. Like. Holla, yesterday you said, we will be pulling up to your battle like you don't know me. That is insanity. Because the camera's on? Holla, tell you what. You can do one or two things, bro. We can click the cameras on and put gloves on our hands and I will beat your ass, man. Straight like that. You heard what I said, though. I ain't get skinny for no reason, bro. You heard what the fuck I said. Like, when you say we, okay, we'll click it on, Holla. We can click this on and make it a, 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 a boxing match. Nick I stood behind every one of the St. Louis niggas and went right on stage. Document. Holla got away. So, here's the thing, Holla. You got to have a characteristic, my son. Is it me? Or is it all of us? So, okay, so if it's me, I understand you don't stand behind me. What magic do to you? So you don't stand behind magic. Ice pack return? You don't want to stand with ice pack? That's kind of crazy, y'all. And, 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 and holla, at the same time, don't, don't forget, none of us reached out for this car. We were all call, called, right? You're the main event guy. You're the big main event guy. Didn't need us then. You didn't stand with none of us, Holla. That's when I knew it's it's Holla's too far gone. What what did magic do to you? What ice pack do to you? Cause you'll say Verb did something to you. What they do? We standing there looking uniform. I stood behind every one of them niggas, tired as hell, and still performed, Holla. You know that I, like there is no time where we don't stand together. No time. All them old fights, I'm behind you hyping it. You behind me hyping it. Okay, you didn't do it to none of us, though. That's when I knew, oh, it's way past that, though. Mm -hmm. It's something else. But, Holly, you did do that, though. You got to explain that. Tell the people why you didn't stand with none of us. And we were called to join this card. We weren't, so, why didn't you stand with any of us? Holly, it's, it's a few pictures that we had that got taken 
one of them pictures, you ain't smiling. Your face kind of frowned up taking the picture with us. So what do we do to you? All of us couldn't have did nothing to you. You have to explain it, though, in your own time. I just walked you into a corner, too. So you have to be able to explain why you didn't stand with any of us St. Louis night. And you've always stood with us regardless. We've stood with each other 14 years. You thought that that would go unnoticed? Not by me. I'm a smart nigga. Can't be me, then. Can't be me. No. That's why we didn't stand with you either, though. That ain't never happened either. So if it's verb that's bad, I get it. Ice pack and magic, you didn't stand with them either. This is a monumental night and you didn't stand with us, bro. That's the first time in our history you were at the event where we rapped and you didn't stand with us. This shit look crazy. Hey, holla. My third and second round is wicked, bro. I don't want to go there. It's wicked, bro. So you got to have an issue somewhere else down the line, though. All right, let me hear him then. Like, he played on a beat for no reason. He don't got no bars. All right, man. I got you, man. When I said, uh, I said, let's do it like this. I said, check. Uh, yo, uh, man made the slaughter. I'm hood, I still mix my pancakes with water. Okay. My fan played the corner with Gramps, eights, and quarters. Okay. People lied on my name, but they can't change the aura. Uh, uh, so who would make concern? I could bring him to you now based off the loop that I could earn. Been out the loop, but I return. Who could stop the purge? Got killers on head now. Nah, my people move without a word. Yeah. Check. My favorite blick is a 44. My dog blue trout. A judge hit him with a 44. It's 20 for the split. I could get him for the 44. And when this thing done, I hit a player with 44. Yeah. Divine measures. I grew up around side betters that won but couldn't stay in the game. Kawhi Lennon. <laughs> yeah, I blog, but I'm still on the block sturdy. And keep a lookout for the window because the cops dirty. <laughs> Battle who? I beat them around and drop 30. Man, I done bust more elbow moves than Brock Purdy. Ooh. Hustle for real. My people gunning to kill since I was young looking for something to steal. Not a six cool black and the other one teal. I'm like hoving nine nine because I'm dumping the mill and I need more paper. Three, four acres. My favorite five words is we don't need no favors. Favors. Okay, that's fine. Nice. No, I get, I get, I get it in every now and then. Every now and then. All every right. Guess you.